I'm Milan Brevere, the United States Ambassador at Large for Global Women's Issues. As we in the United States commemorate the achievements of women during the entire month of March, and as we join with people around the world to celebrate the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day, I am struck by how much progress has been made and yet how much remains to be achieved. We all stand on the shoulders of so many who have led the way for women's equality over many, many years of struggle. Those who have worked, as we continue to work, for women's rights as human rights, for the rights of women and girls to be free from violence, to be able to access health care and education, to participate in the economic and political lives of our countries, the right of every girl to be as valued as every little boy. Today, there is a mountain of research that shows that investments in women correlate positively with poverty alleviation and a country's general prosperity that the education of girls is the most effective development investment that can be made with enormous positive consequences for her and her family's future. We know that women run small and medium-sized businesses, drive economic growth. We know too that women's equality is smart economics and that women, peace and security are linked together, and that if the prospects for peace are to be sustained anywhere, women's voices must be heard, not silenced or marginalized. The instability of nations and extremism go hand in hand with the denial of women's rights and oppression of women. If democracy is to prosper, it cannot do so without the participation of women, because that would be a contradiction in terms. And we know that where women make progress, so do countries. Over 150 years ago in the United States, some women and the good men who joined them journeyed to the first Equal Rights Convention in this country. In those days, women could not vote. If they, if they worked, they could not keep the meager wages they earned. If they found themselves in a bad marriage, they couldn't get a divorce. Their opportunities for education were often very limited. And many of those who journeyed to the Equal Rights Convention worried that they might be alone on that road but they soon realized that there were many, and they formed a long procession for women's equal rights in the United States. Since that historic event, many rights have been won by women in my country. But women all over the world and here too are still on the road to women's equality. No matter where we live, we are still on the road because in no country are men and women equal. But we know in those countries where the equality gap is closer to being closed, those countries are far more prosperous and everyone benefits, women and men, girls and boys. So our journey continues. Everywhere in the world, women are leading the way Many do so with great courage and often at great personal risk to their lives. They are trying to change the world. They are trying to make a difference. So on this International Women's Day, I wish each and every one of you Godspeed in the important work that you do because you are truly the vital voices of our time and our world needs you.